There was a lot of cleaning. There was a lot of movement that needed to be taken care of. And GCA services, the custodians that work for GCA, have done an excellent, excellent job. I, I've had a lot of compliments uh, on how hard they've worked to get everything up to par. And then, of course, all of our teachers, our principals, and all of the staff, we understand that it's been uh, a little bit slower start to the beginning of the year than what they like because we could not really get people into the buildings until Friday and over the weekend. Um, but everybody's really pulled together. And also, one last thank you would go to the highway department employees for the town of North Kingstown who came over to Davisville Middle School yesterday en masse to help us uh, move some stuff into a storage unit. Uh, Phil Bergeron had asked them to come over to help us because they knew that our facilities guys were straight out. Gordon Walsh was at DMS late last night, as well as uh, Ben Gardner. So it really has been a pleasure working with all of these people. We had uh, eight short weeks in which physical hands-on work of more than $5 million was largely completed in our buildings. Um, so I think that things have gone really well, considering that's a huge undertaking. That is very incredible. So thank you. And, um, I and, and I, I have one last item from my, I usually don't have this much on the superintendent's report, but what the heck. Um, we uh, just learned this week from uh, Rhode Island Monthly Magazine, um, this is the edition here, um, that uh, they put out a yearly edition where they rank, uh, they do their own ranking of high schools. And their ranking is primarily based on um, AP scores and, and how well students do with AP coursework. And as as we all know, um, North Kingstown is very proud to, to say that uh, many of its students take AP classes and do very well. In fact, a few years ago, we received an award from the only school in the state that received the award from uh, the College Board for our advancement of students with uh, taking AP courses and doing well on the AP tests. Well, um, <laughs> this uh, ranking last year had North Kingstown as fourth in the state for um, this report, and this year we're third. So that's uh, quite an accomplishment to be in this top group here. And, and just so you know, the, the rankings are, are much more than AP. There's AP is their main component, but they also look at NECAP scores, SAT scores, per pupil expenditure, teacher to student ratio, and graduation rate of the schools. And all of those are areas where North Kingstown is, has a favorable um, is favorable in comparison to other schools in the state. We're very proud of that. So, you know, um, I will make sure that everyone in the committee gets a copy of this. We'll send it out to you tomorrow, and we'll push this, uh, put this on the uh, district webpage as well. Great. All right. Well, that is great news. All right. So that brings us to some of our routine items. Uh, the first is I am looking for a motion to seal the executive minutes of today's executive <coughs> session, August 27th, 2013. So moved. Second. Thank you. All those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed? <coughs> motion carries. One of abstention. Um, Lorraine, I don't believe there were any um, executive vo uh, votes taken. Am I correct? No, they were not. Correct. Um, <coughs> We have on here um, approval of memorandum agreements. Do I have a motion to approve the, the memorandum of agreements? So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries. And I have, um, I'm looking for a motion to approve the superintendent's goals as we've received them here tonight. So moved. Second. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries. All right. That brings us into the consent agenda. Um, are there um, abstent or things to be taken off the consent agenda for discussion? Mr. Jones. Um, I'd like to exempt E1, please. And I am going to... Uh, um, exempt the executive session minutes. Um, it says here um, August 27th, but I believe that's August 13th. That was correct? an error, yes. So that is C2. Is there anything else to exempt? All right. I'm looking for a motion for the rest of the consent so agenda. Do I have a second? Second. 
Okay, all those in favor of approving the consent agenda minus the exempted items say aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. All right, the first one is the minutes approval of executive session August 13th, 2013. Uh, I believe Ms. Clerken was absent. Um, so do I have a motion to, um, to approve the remainder of the minutes? Second. Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? And one abstention. Correct? Yes. Okay. All right. That brings us to E1. Mr. Jones. Um, thank you, Mrs. Page. Uh, and um, my reason for exempting these is not to, to get into a discussion of the, the personnel. Um, I think it's just important that the community understands um, that this request is for um, close to 175,000 um, and therefore personnel in support of, of needs that um, students we have returning to the district require. Um, and I just think it's important for the community to understand that these are sometimes the changes that occur between when the budget gets approved and when school starts um, that require the, the district to have a little flexibility. Um, obviously, the superintendents provide us a funding rationale and, and some of this is being funded by the fact that students are returning and so we're recognizing some savings. But unfortunately, we do have to use some of the state aid money, which potentially could have been used for other things to, to fund these because we need to do that. And I guess my only point to the committee would be is, you know, as we start a fiscal year and sometimes we've approved stuff that are worthwhile items or, or items that definitely have some value um, that we are going to see these kinds of things and sometimes we should probably wait until these things sort out before we sometimes approve very good useful items but again items that maybe could have waited until we see some of these things that have sorted out. Thank you. Are there any other questions or comments on E1? Mr. Sariki. Motion to approve. Do I have a second? Second. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? <coughs> Motion carries. <clears throat> All right. That brings us down to unfinished business. And the first one is, um, is 5A, the parent survey. Dr. J. Yeah, for the, um, this is something that um, I gave to you at the last meeting. And um, I have had some discussions uh, uh, with uh, Mr. Jones about the survey. Um, and the only amendment that I would make to the current survey right now is that we um, made it a little simpler in that we um, use a seven point scale for the items instead of a 10 point scale. Um, we have discussed uh, the possibility of including one more question. Uh, the question that we have right now is one about if, with available funding, what would we, uh, what would someone prioritize putting more funds toward? Or it seems to be kind of suggesting that in the question. Uh, and perhaps adding a question that would be, uh, is there something, is there an area where, um, and we, we weren't quite sure about the phrasing on this, so it may mean that I need to get back to you with one more question at some point. But something about, you know, that you would see um, it's such, it's like it's not a priority for you and therefore may possibly um, reduce the funding in a particular area for uh, in, in one of the areas that we presented. So um, that's where we stand with this right now. And I, I guess, you know, I, I guess what I will do is give this another two weeks to kind of make sure it's exactly what I need it to be, put it in before you for an up or down, this is what we want to send to the community. And that will be right around the time frame that we need anyway. Around the middle of September is when we were originally thinking we would send this out. So, all right. Any other comments or suggestions from the committee? All right. So that brings us to policies. So the first policy you have before you tonight is EBC. It's responding to an emergency or crisis situation, and the changes that are that are before you tonight come about mainly because of changes in state law. 
and that uh, the state law changed it so we do no, not long, we no longer need to, or should we, um, necessarily give out a lot of our security issues and how we plan things or how we do things. Um, and unfortunately, that has come about. So that is the, the reason for the changes that you see in um, EBC. Are there any um, comments, suggestions? All right, so I'm looking for a motion to we'll move. pass all EBC. Do I have a second? Second. There's no further questions. Um, all those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries. The second policy is a bullying policy. This is a, a policy that was uh, rewritten by our attorney to fall in line with the Human Rights Commission, um, that our policy had been something, uh, the, the policy, the old one, was written by the State Attorney General's Office then as a result of some litigation in a different school district. Um, our attorney um, said, oh, well, because of that school district, you might want to change your policy. And we, um, so we have taken her up on it. And that is the reason for the changes to the bullying policy. This was sent out to all the principals about a month ago. And they all pretty much said that they, they liked the changes. They still saw it as being something that, that they thought would be workable in our schools. So I'm looking for comments or questions. All right. I don't have any comments or questions. Question. Go ahead, John. I just Let's noticed that this one, um, on this policy, there's, I don't see any of the corrections made. Yeah, there were, there were a number of corrections. And so what I did was um, I gave you the old policy, and then I gave you the new policy. Um, Looking at the new so one, So you're right. You didn't have it. Usually I give out a track changes so you can see them directly. Um, and mainly it was because our attorney, uh, and, and it wasn't Marianne Carroll, it was uh, another, um, Katie Duncanson, who used to be in her office. Right. Um, when she gave me this, she did not give it to me in track changes. So rather than going and comparing them word, you know, line by line, mm -hmm. I just gave you two different versions. I see that now. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. Are there any other questions or comments? All right. If not, then I'm looking for a motion. Second. All right. All those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed, motion carries. <clears throat> And the last one is our middle school uh, grading policy. This change comes from the middle school principals and assistant principals who have asked that the, the change go from being, it used to be a 60% or below was failure, and now they're asking for a 65. So they're basically raising the standards a little bit. And so that's why that's the only change within the policy. Is there any comment or question? Yes, Mr. Um, thank you, Mr. Page. And, and I realize the policy change itself is, is very minor. Um, I would just make the point, since the policy is up, um, and I had this discussion with Dr. Oje, that um, I, I agree that the movement towards summative assessments being 75% and putting more weight on that, um, I think, has been a, a very positive trend. Um, I guess I would just make the comment that, you know, we have the and it lends back to the discussion we just had with Dr. Humbert about um, uh, consistency and, and the grading um, uh, calibration. Um, you know, the point in the policy that there should be a consistent approach to grading and just that our principals keep, you know, the emphasis on that part of the policy that, you know, the summative assessments really focus on student understanding and 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 mastery of the concepts and not on the somewhat innocuous parts of a rubric, um, given that the weight now is so much more. And second, um, I know with Aspen, obviously that's been a, an ability for parents to, you know, check and look at that. And with, you know, these items carrying so much weight that we can also take the next step um, to some degree with the portal and stuff where those kinds of, of very heavily weighted summative assessments are on the calendar so parents have an, a sense of in advance when they're coming and not just after the fact um, through Aspen. So thank you. Thank you. Any other um, comments, questions? I have a question. Kim. Oh, yes. I have a question. Um, it was my understanding that uh, passing at the high school was a 70. 
could you please explain the rationale for making it 65 at the middle school and 70 at the high school? Yeah, absolutely correct. We had a disparity of 10%, of um, so the middle schools were at 60 and the high school was at 70. And so we tried to close that gap and do it gradually, so we went with the 65. Thank you for alerting me that you put up your hand. I don't always look to the right. <laughs> Is there any other questions or comments? All right, if not, then I'm looking for uh, a motion on um, IKA 1. Second. Second. All right, all those in favor, say aye. 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 All those opposed, motion passes. All right, so that brings us to the end of policies. And um, that pretty much brings us to the end of our meeting. So, Dr. Ajay, did you have anything else? Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. So, I am looking for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Do I have one motion? Do I have a second? Second. Thank you. Okay. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you very much, everyone. Something, something.